I'm Billie Eilish, and this is the playlist of my life. Let's build this. The Motto by Drake. I would say that this is my favorite song ever in the world. Like overall, any song I've ever heard in my life. And Lil Wayne features on it, and his verse is so good. Becky, look at her butt. I think it's just always gonna be my song. <laughs> Off to the Races by Lana Del Rey. I went to Costa Rica when I was like eight or nine or 10 or 11. That whole trip, I remember just listening to this song. <laughs> so every time I hear it, it's just like, I just get this like Costa Rica feeling and just like reminds me of the way that that trip felt. Every time I heard it, I just felt bad, you know, like bad, not like bad, but like bad. Nah, 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 nah. This is a song called All Those Nahs by My Chemical Romance. I was home alone for the first time and I remember sweeping my room for some unknown reason. I had a broom in my hand and I was I was listening to My Chemical Romance in my little speaker for my little iPod 4. And I remember going like maybe harder than I still have ever gone. That was the first time I ever like really was like. And I remember holding the broom and like going like that and screaming the lyrics. And I go hard, dude. I mosh, bro. Japanese Denim by Daniel Caesar. Honestly, I, I haven't listened to it in a really long time because when I listen to it, I like break down. I'm so in love, so in love. I was going through something with this guy that I was really, really into that wasn't so into me, but I thought he was for a while. So this song kind of just reminds me of like hope and longing and then kind of it dying down which sucks, but it's a, a beautiful song. I'm a Fool to Want You by Frank Sinatra. I remember sitting in my bean bag in my room and crying to this song. I'm a fool to want you. The whole song is about how you're in love with someone who's cheating on everybody. And even, even when someone treats you horribly, and you're in love with them, you're gonna be in love with them. Like, it's, that's what's so hard about love. <laughs> Mr. Brightside by The Killers. I think this is probably the song that like, if I wanna feel horrible, I'll listen to it. I had gone through something that really just like, shattered me a little. And I remember going into my room and locking my door and laying on the floor and listening to it at top volume and just like staring at the ceiling and the light on my ceiling and thinking about the brokenness of myself. Garbage by Tyler, the creator. Garbage was like one of the biggest inspirations for writing my song, Bellyache. It's more graphic than my song. It's more like literal and like I'm killing people and putting them in my basement kind of song. Hello. I'm a salesman, sort of giant. I did a cover of it on my ukulele. I have a little recording of me like, hello, I'm a salesman. It's like so low and like raspy and you know, like a dinosaur, sexy dinosaur. I'm a huge fan of Tyler. Like he's been like my biggest inspiration ever probably. As Crazy As It Is by ZHU, Zoo. First time I heard this song, nobody knew me at all. And I was opening for this artist, Michael. So I like got on stage and it was kind of the best show I'd played at all back then because I played shows where nobody would come and it would be like me on stage and like one old dude in the corner. But so that was like the first show I ever had where I was like, wow, this is actually really fun. People are here to listen to me. And like this song started playing right as I left stage and I shazammed it because I was like, what is that? It's like when you're playing Tetris and you get like a perfect shape and you put it in a perfect shape. And that was like what this song was like for my ears. Starring Roll by Marina and the Diamonds. She is the reason that I write the way that I write and probably the reason that I've 
gotten through a lot of the things that I have gotten through. He's one of the very few artists, like myself, that, that writes in characters. And the idea of the song is like, it feels like a joke to not play the starring role in someone else's heart, you know what I mean? Which is like, it took me a long time to understand it, but then once I did, I was like, that is genius. This is Loveful by the Cardigans, a classic. This song is amazing. So I had a dude that was horrible to me, very mentally abusive for a long, long time. I remember having a little kind of party and he was standing across from me and I played this song and I just looked at him and I mouthed all the lyrics. Dear, I fear we're facing a problem. You love me no longer, I know. And maybe there is nothing that I can do to make you do. And I remember looking at him, he looked just so broken from it. And I was like, yes, I'm, I'm so good, I can never be hurt again. And then this horrible relationship went on for like a year longer, so. It's over now, F him. Waiting for the end by Lincoln Park. So first, RIP to Chester Bennington. I remember my dad was playing the music video for this song. Waiting for the end to come. And it was kind of like the first video I really like cared about. And I, cause I'd never really thought about like music videos as like art. In the middle of the song, it's him in this kind of position, like, like he's like flying almost. It's kind of like the shot is like going around him, but he's staying in one place. And I always thought that was really cool. And it, it just stuck in my head. Oh my God, I didn't even write end. Waiting for the end. I was waiting till the end to write the end of the waiting for the end. So it's all on purpose. Don't even worry. Last but not least by far. Hold on by Subtract featuring Sampa. This song is really special to me. Like you don't even know. I grew up as a dancer and there was this one class that I think was probably my favorite class and I was with all my best friends in that class. We'd always do an exercise where you have to lay down. We were like this and I remember going like, it's like, do, do, do. I always heard Sampa's voice every time my leg was right here. <laughs> I just had to, I had to show you instead of tell you. And that, my friend, is the playlist of my life.